Hello everyone, and today we're going to be installing this hood lift kit on this Nissan Frontier, and it simply bolts onto the two corners of the hood, so let's get started. And for our first step, let's grab our 12mm socket, and we're going to start on the passenger side, so it's going to remove the two hood nuts that hold the hood to the bracket. And these come off fairly easily, so let's go ahead and take off one and try not to drop it. And there we go, set that aside, and then we're going to break loose the second one. Come on, there we go. And we'll take that one off as well and try not to drop it and set that aside now let's go ahead and grab some thread locking compound and this is the blue one so this is actually medium strength and we'll apply a little bit on the threads before we install our bracket and come on bottle's almost empty so bear with me and then we have our bracket there is a left side and a right side so you're going to want the pivot point to face outward and then we'll go ahead and reinstall our nuts and we'll start with finger tight and get the second one in there there we go now of course take your 12 millimeter socket and let's go ahead and tighten that up till it's nice and snug. There's one. And let's go back to the bottom one. And we'll snug that one up as well. Come on. And there we go. Go back to the top one. Just check it one more time. Very nice. And now those nuts are nice and snug. Let's grab our torque wrench. And we set it to nine foot pounds. And there's one click. Now let's go to the bottom nut. And one more time. And there we go. Those are torque to spec. Now with the top bracket installed, let's focus on the fender bolt. So we're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and a socket wrench. And let's go ahead and take this one guy out. Now this is the bolt that's closest to your washer fluid. So let's go ahead and loosen that one up and we'll take it all the way out. It's got a couple threads to it, so it may take a second. And there we go. And now let's go ahead and grab our fender bracket. Now this pivot point faces inward, so make sure you have that one. And while it's sitting there, let's grab our bolt and let's apply a little bit of thread locking compound. There we go. And we can start threading this in. And this is a very simple process. There's not much to it. It's just a few nuts and bolts. And now it's tightened down. Let's snug it with our 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench. And there we go. Nice and snug. And now let's go ahead and grab our torque wrench. It's set to 10 foot pounds and we want to turn it till it clicks. So let's give this a nice turn. Uh, not there yet. Let's do one more. There we go. All right, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and install our hood strut. So let's pop the top on. And then we'll go ahead and set the bottom right there so we can move the hood prop rod and get that out the way. There we go, because we got to lift the hood a little bit higher. And as I'm moving the hood up, you can see it makes it easier to install this bottom pivot point, and it snapped right in. And all you have to do is repeat the exact same steps on the driver's side as well. almost done so now we need to remove the hood prop retaining clip so grab a pair of pliers and pull straight up and this should pop right out and there it goes and for our very last step let's go and remove the prop rod so go ahead and bring it towards you and start inching it out while turning it clockwise and you can see it start inching out and it's almost there very nice Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. 